Hey, it's Brooke White with the Girls With Glasses Show, and now we're here to part two with how to curl your hair. Okay, so remember that picture? I guess it's been floating around somewhere out there in Pinterest land. A lot of people have been asking me, how do I achieve this look? And this is what I'm, this is what I do. Okay, when I took that picture, my hair was a couple, maybe like an inch or two longer than this. However, the shape is very similar. So it's basically the same process. Okay, so your hair is prepped, it's primed, it's, it has a nice clean blow dry, which is super important to achieve this look because you need the movement and the volume. Next, we need to talk about your curling iron. Now, you could use just about any curling iron. I prefer the Hot Tools, original Hot Tools. It, ha it goes all the way up to 430 degrees. You don't need your curling iron that hot, unless you have super thick, coarse, textured hair. Otherwise, you wanna keep it at a moderate level, just about mm, 350 is probably as high as you need to go. First work in sections. And I'm going to leave my bangs out for now. So you're gonna take your iron and you're gonna hold it up and down vertically. And then you're gonna take a section and take it and go about midway. Now this is the trick. You're gonna clamp it right in the middle and then you're gonna start to wrap the hair leaving the ends out, okay? And you're gonna turn it, never getting the ends in all the way. About right there is all you need. Hold it for a second, let it go. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go underneath. We're gonna take this section and we're gonna do the same thing. Some people like to use a flat iron for this. I do that as well. It also works great, but this is my favorite. See my section? It's not really small and it's not really big. This is key to not getting those Shirley Temple ringlets. That's not what we're going for. And even right now, it's a little too curled looking. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Sorry, sometimes I have to look at the mirror. It's starting to get that kind of movement, all right? Start with this section again leaving my bangs out for now. We'll do those at the end. Clamp it in the middle, twirl it back away from the face, leaving those ends out. Look, it's getting a nice lift at the root. Let it go. Take that underneath section, same thing. Moving it back. So, you kind of get a sense by when you look in the mirror, they have like these underneath sections where you can see are straight. You might want to go and snag those first. Start with your lower sections first in the back. So here I am doing the same method I've always been doing. Careful for your neck. Clamp it right in the middle. And then whichever direction the, the curling iron is facing, you want the hair to come out of the bottom end so it's facing the ground. You, you hold it at a wider angle if you want the hair fuller and more vertically if you want it to go more up and down. You do this, allowing the ends to stay out of there. Sometimes it's good to have a friend around who can kind of tell you out of your sister that you missed a spot. Now you've got your bang section. Now you could leave it kind of going back or you could do just the slightest. This is where you have to be very careful not to overdo it. And you're gonna do the same thing, but instead I just kind of barely go back one turn and then kind of let it out, just like that. Last step I call the mellow it out step. And you're just gonna take, if you have areas that are just a little too curly, take your iron and quite simply just go like this down the hair. So just kind of takes it and just chills it out a little bit. See this, just taking it. Gently moving it through the hair. Now it's time to texture it up. Love also the Orbe sprays for texture. Incredible, but I'm out, so this will do. You just take a little dab, put it in your hands, between the palms, kind of move it through like that, just a tiny bit more. So you coat your hands, then you're gonna flip it, work it towards the ends, just kind of like this, piecing it out a tiny bit. Not a lot, a little goes a long way, Flip it, kind of crazy for a second. Let it kind of mellow out. I like to take it and just kind of piece it out too. 
All right, and we're finished. I hope that this helps you out. And remember, practice makes perfect. And also, this style just gets better throughout the day. And so roll down your windows and head on down to the beach and shake it out. All right, stay glassy. See you next Wednesday.